Hey guys, what's happening? So, I have an issue with uh, this video card here. It's a RX 57 XT. Um, I'm trying to reflash the BIOS. This was one of my old crypto mining GPUs. Um, just this actual GPU, I'm actually having issues with the firmware. Um, all my other ones, actually, I was able to flash back to the factory. But, um, so this is actually a Sapphire Nitro Plus, and it has a BIOS switch. So one of the, I mean, it's a dual BIOS, so one of the BIOS actually works, and the other one doesn't actually work. Let me fire it up. Uh, it kind of partially works, which is weird. I can kind of see it, but I can't flash it. I get the dreaded, uh, what's it called, like F101 error, whatever. I'll show it to you. All right, so on the BIOS switch, you have your uh, high performance to the right, and then you have your silent BIOS. The silent BIOS actually works. Uh, but we'll check this out. So it doesn't even show up in, in the display properties. Show, shows up as the Intel onboard video graphics on the, on the built on the CPU. It doesn't even show the uh, RX 57 or XT. So there's definitely something wrong with the BIOS. Um, and I've tried flashing it numerous times. And my, I mean, I know my flashing procedure works because I flashed at least 10 other cards doing the same thing, different brands. So it's just this one specific issue with this one. Um, so I do actually have an SPI flasher. So uh, I'm going to try to recover a couple more times, but um, I'm going to use the SPI flasher. Um, so basically i got to take the fan off. I'm going to flash the BIOS directly via like a USB programmer with Neo programmer. I've actually recovered several motherboards that way, you know, when they go wrong. So, I mean, this video is really just about how to recover a BIOS. That could be a motherboard or a video card. In my case, in this one, um, let's see here. Problem failed, the 0FL01 error. That's pretty common with these things. So, no matter what I do, I've tried different flashers, different, um, you know, all different kinds of stuff, but it's only this, just this one card. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, it did over 10 cards, you know, without a problem. Um, I mean, it could be a bad BIOS, I'm not sure, so. All right, I'm going to try to get on my Neo programmer. Um, I have to take the sucks, I have to take the whole thing off, take the fans off and heat sink. Uh, maybe not the heat sink, but we'll see. At least I have to get to where the uh, flash is at. All right, so now i got to locate the BIOS on the motherboard. Um, I flipped it over I mean, that's typically what a BIOS would look like, but there's nothing in that spot, so I gotta look around here. And hopefully it's, I mean, somewhere over here, close to the BIOS switch. Well, it could be right there. That's probably what it is. I'll double check and look what the chips are. Make sure they're, it's like a Winbon or whatever it is, whatever brand it is. Yeah, because you know there'd be two of them because there's two separate BIOSes. So they'd be matching, so there would have to be two of the same chip. Yeah, kind of looks like they're right there. What I need to do is try, I don't know which, which chip is what though. I don't know which one's a silent and which one's a high performance. So, um, I guess I could try to trace, hit like my multimeter and try to find the continuity between the two. Because I know right now the, the if I can trace it back from the high performance uh, BIOS, I'll be able to get some continuity. So I hope you can see this right here. Uh, I'm gonna put the clip pin one. Pin one is the dot here. Put that in like that. Make sure it's in there. Straight. Put it in the programmer. This is my USB 3.0. It's on my computer. And then, so obviously you don't power the card on. The device itself actually powers the IC or the uh, BIOS chip. All right. So I'm gonna attempt to remove one of the BIOS chips. This little clip that I have in my programmer, my uh, take a good contact. And I mean, everybody complains about them, and I've actually had issues with them too. So I'm gonna remove the BIOS chip, and then move it to the PCB over here. All right, we'll see Definitely. if this works. I mean, this is more like an experiment, you know what I mean? The amount of time I spent on this thing versus the amount of money the card costs, definitely not, uh, not on the uh, upside there. All right, so one. Yeah, I couldn't get it to go with the clip, so um, I'll try this. I and mean, this is actually really the right way to do it, but it's a headache having to desolder it, so. I forgot to mention that the uh, BIOS is like a pure brand, so some obscure BIOS and uh, the only program I could find that had support for this was Neo Programmer. You can go 2.10, so. I don't know if I want a detail, but the reason why, I, I, I don't know if it's a BIOS problem or what it was, but 
I, I modded the BIOS for when I was crypto mining with it. So um, I'm trying to send it back to stock. So let's, I got some data. I mean, if this was all Fs, then you know you weren't getting any data. So, all right, yeah, I'm starting to see, uh, reading the BIOS, I can see what's on here. Um, I said, I don't really know, I can't remember. I've already downloaded the BIOS files from, uh, from uh, what's it called, uh, the, I don't know, the, the, what's it called, Tech, uh, Tech Guru or something like that. Um, so I already actually have the firmware files, the ROM files. Um, all right, that's awesome. Yeah, cool. I don't, like I, said, I don't know which one is what though, so I don't know which one's a silent or what. So, all right, I'm gonna erase this and program it. I'm gonna erase this. So I'm gonna go back and it is Sapphire. So I'm gonna open this up and uh, check the ROM file. That's what I downloaded. And I have it. Uh, I have to overclock and silent BIOS. That should be the overclock BIOS. Let's see options here. Let's start programming. Right. Verification failed. All right, so I can mm. kind of confirmed because I actually opened up another BIOS and I'm getting a lot more data. So I reopened the BIOS file and like what it copied over is different than what I pulled. So, um, all right, I'm about to troubleshoot it. I think got a good copy there. Um, for, for some reason, when I was doing the, uh, I'm just experimenting. When I had blank check and erase on there and verify, it wouldn't actually go all the way through. Wouldn't program. Like I said, this is a pretty obscure uh, BIOS, so it's not. Uh, there's no information on it. So, but it looks like I got a lot of good data on here, though. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take the other one off, then I'll put them back on, and hopefully the car is not bricked. And um, if it's um, so like I said, I'm going to put the overclock on one, I'm going to put the silent on the other one. Um, and then if this fails, I'm just going to put some wind bonds on there. I'm going to put some different dial chips on there. I think I have, a, I have a, yeah, I don't know that the Northridge should fix guy. That guy is crazy how he can desolder these small components. Um, yeah, not their best job, but, um, got them on there, tested all the contacts that are on there. Um, all right, so I'm going to put this thing back together. I've got some old thermal base on there too. All right, so if you're wondering about this computer, this was my old one of my old uh, CPU miners, an old 3D printed case I designed a while back. All right, let me get this thing plugged in and fire it up. All right, so I have no clue what's going to happen here. Got some fan power, got some lights. Turn out the mask, going to go or not? No video, so. Hmm. Uh oh. Power off. Power back on. I don't know. So I can try the onboard video. That's funny. That my computer won't even boot up. Probably not. All right. Actually, I had to fire my one of my crypto miners, my old crypto mining motherboard, and it sees the video card. It took a long time to boot though, so it totally freaked me out um, for me to get a video. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I'll log into my crypto miner and see if it actually sees it and what it looks like. And then um, it's actually Hive OS, so I'm going to log into that thing. I don't actually have crypto mine anymore, so that was actually the center BIOS. So the, originally the it was a high clock BIOS set. I had modded that had issues. So let's see if I can get it to boot with, uh, um, I mean, it, like I said, it could just be a bad BIOS chip. I mean, I don't know, but I'm gonna let this thing fire up and see if it comes online here. All right, got some video and it shows up. So um, I'm actually gonna load Windows on there just to, as a backup, just to make sure it works because <laughs> Yeah, I want to make sure this thing is, both these BIOS work in Windows, you can see it in Windows, and um, yeah, I'm not going to have a problem, you know? So, alright, I'm going to boot this into Windows uh, USB disk. It actually has an onboard M2. Not like an MVME drive, but it's the older school M2, um, which I think is just SATA speed. It's not M2, like MVME. Alright. 
uh, that's stressful, man. <laughs> Computer failing and all right, but let me go. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna go to Hive just to double check. Oh, it's definitely working. I'm crypto mining with it right now. I'm accepting shares, so I know that works. But um, the real test will be to get this thing to boot in Windows because somebody's not gonna make crypto mining. They're gonna be running this thing in Windows. So, um, but I also just want to verify the files. They both actually show up in Device Manager. All right, so it's been about a week or so. So I don't know what was up this GPU, but it was killing my motherboards. Uh, I don't know if that's the case or not, but I had two motherboards that seemed to fail at the same time when I was testing this, so I hooked this up to one of my Dell servers and I have sort of like in a freaky setup. So I'm kind of out of voice, not sure if that's my, my voice, but um, all right, take a look. So yeah, I'm just basically running uh, the, 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 I'm using a Dell server. Since I thought the uh, there might be something wrong with the PCI bus, so at least with the Dell server, what I'll do is if it finds it short on the PCI bus, It'll deactivate that individual PCI slot. You know, it won't shut off the whole motherboard, but it'll shut off the PCI slot. So right now I'm running on it. Actually, I'm using a, um, even though there is a PCI riser on there, but there is a PCI slot, I'm just using one of my crypto mining uh, uh, GP risers. So I mean, you're not getting full 8x PCI Express, but you, you know, I'm getting a booting video from it. Um, but I'm actually running a ex extra power supply. So that beeping noise is my uh, power supply tester. I'm just having that to activate my power supply. So it just basically powers my power supply, but then when the computer boots up, it gets a signal from the PCI slot to turn the GPU on. But let me come back and I'll show you that uh, everything's working. I'm booting on the video card. And I'm actually going into um, what I said. As you can see, it's working on there. It's reflashed to RX 57 XT. Um, yeah, since it's been, it's been a week or so since I made this video, but, um, so let's double check on GPZ. So the thing about, I, I can't remember if I said this, but there's a, a BIOS switch. So I, I gotta, since I took off both chips and flash both chips, I gotta go back and check each chip on the actual, so you have a, you have a BIOS, high performance BIOS, then you have a silent BIOS, and then you have uh, the software select. If it's in the third party this way, you can select the BIOS via software and that hardware. So I gotta go back and I gotta make sure the silent BIOS works too as well. But yeah, I think I'm actually gonna give this to my kid. I think I'm gonna build him a gaming machine. You know, it seems like he's getting into games, so um, yeah, it'd be nice to have this for a gaming rig for him. Yeah, I think I originally spent like like 800 bucks on this thing. So 650, 800 bucks, I can't, this is like in the peak of the whole like the, you know, COVID, so, um, yeah, there we go, PPZ, all right, I think looking good, so yeah, typically, I don't rarely ever have to do a chip removal and reflash the BIOS manually like that, super rare, I mean, it does happen, though, I've done it on some motherboards before, and, you know, like I said, it's very rare, so, all right, guys, hoping this video helps somebody. Um, yeah, I'll put down a link down below with the flash tool. It's pretty cheap. It was like maybe less than 10 bucks. So, all right, got my GPU back in business. All right, awesome.